the length of the diagonal the length of the diagonal of the base of the container is d meters so and this is the length and this is the width and this is the diagonal so you want to prove that the height h is in terms of d so basically how will we do this so let's say so we can use Pythagoras so this is a right angle triangle so if you look at this so this is basically a right angle triangle so using Pythagoras theorem this is a right angle so using Pythagoras I can say d squared uh, using Pythagoras I can say d squared uh, I need to make this a different color so d squared is equal to uh, let me make it slightly thicker so d squared is equal to 2 h plus 1 the whole squared plus h plus 3 the whole squared okay so this has become this is going to become d squared is equal to this is going to be 2h plus 1 times 2h plus 1 plus h plus 3 plus h plus 3. So expanding this further, so this squared is going to be 2, 2h times 2h is 4h, squ 4h squared. Then we've got a 2h plus 2h which is 4h plus 1 is equal sorry plus plus h squared plus 6h plus 9 so if simplified this further d squared is going to be 5h squared plus 10h 10h plus 10 so you can divide the whole thing by phi so you can say dividing by phi so this will become this implies we can say h squared plus 2h plus 1 plus this is dividing by phi sorry plus 2 is equal to d squared over phi so now I'm going to do a technique or, or skills for completing the square. So if you put, if you have a one here, this is going to be, can I write this as 2h squared? Completing the square method, if you remember the completing the square method, what you do is you do the half of this number and square it. So half of 2 is 1 and then you square it and then you become a perfect square. So plus 1 plus 1. So basically what I've done is, I have written 2 as 1 plus 1 is equal to d squared over phi. So this has become a perfect square of h plus 1 the whole squared is equal to negative 1. Okay, so uh, negative 1. What we, what do we want to prove? Uh, okay, is equal to uh yeah so negative one plus d squared over phi we're almost there i got a bit confused so yeah so what can we write now so we can say well let me just change color can i say h plus one the whole squared is equal to instead of writing minus one can i write this as same as minus five over my phi plus d squared over phi so i can say h plus 1 squared is equal to minus 1 plus d squared over phi which is same as d squared minus phi over phi okay we're almost there finished so this is taking square root of both sides h plus 1 is going to be plus or minus square root of d squared minus 5 over 5.
and then taking one over or taking away one from both sides we can say h is minus one plus or minus square root of d squared minus phi over phi so this is basically you get confused when you can't see that you have to this is the most difficult step okay to see that you can get this expression by putting 1 plus 1 instead of 2 and to see that this is a perfect square of h plus 1 squared so let's see whether we got that answer what we needed yeah that's what we want h is minus 1 plus or minus d squared minus 5 over 5 